one that isn't that surprising to me, but it was kind of fun was uh, I went I went to see the band Shellac and I gave Steve Albini a shirt and he was losing his mind because he's like, I fucking love you guys. You guys are hysteric. You know, he's just losing. His, but the, that is not so far off off the mark because yeah, yeah, yeah. who he is and yeah, yeah, yeah. what he likes to do. And so I, I was not so surprised by that. But, you know, I mean, there was also the time we played a we played a lot. We were playing a local show in Boston the night before Faith No More played. And then I was upstairs at, like we were playing at this at that famous bar in Boston, the Rat. And uh, upstairs is the bar. There's a bar upstairs and then there's downstairs was the venue. And I walk upstairs and Mike Patton and Roddy Bottom and a couple other guys from Faith No More were there. I'm like, what the hell are you doing here? We're like, we're coming to see Anal Cunt. I'm like, whoa, wow. <laughs> whoa. And, you know, they were just like, we it was actually kind of a very funny it was a very funny show because it was a local show and there's a there's a local uh at the time i don't know if it's still there there was a local leather leather bar called the ramrod down the street and they had this promotional <laughs> poster and it was i forget that oh god the uh, ramrod um uh was it of finland uh toms of finland they had toms of finland did a uh made a poster for them for the show uh -huh. for the uh not for the show, but for the uh, for the bar, and I got one of the promo posters, and I I hung it, I hung it up behind me on on the uh, stage. Yeah. And I was, before we played, I was standing there like this, you know, and just freaking people out. But <laughs> but uh, it was yeah, I was pretty fucking hysterical. But you know, like having them, and after the show, they're like, yeah, man, thanks a lot. I'm like, you're thanking me? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's fucking but weird. Uh, that is kind of weird. Yeah, but what I think I I think I. I mentioned this earlier but one of the weirdest and i i i can't confirm or deny that he was a fan was that this is in the 90s and crispin glover was doing these weird tours at the time where he was like showing his freak he had some sort of like fucking freak show and he was bringing out his diseased eyeball collection and all this weird stuff and he was reading poetry yeah. and he made this film with i swear they're mentally disabled people yeah and it was, it was fucking bizarre it was uncomfortably <laughs> bizarre and at the end of the show you know he's on stage and i just ran up and i'm like hey i'm tim morris from anal Khan. he's like anal Khan, i really like you guys i have to go and i'm like i, I, I don't know if it's true or if he's just he was so being so him that he did but i want to believe that he was an anal, he's an anal gun fan 